Okay, we are about ready to go here with the uh, Super Trucks for their feature race here at Red River Co-op Speedway. So let's go through the lineup here as they're moving around the track for the first time this evening. Driving the 73P, he's in the pole position for tonight. Driving Ginger, if you didn't know, that's the name of his truck. That's Ronnie Palucco. On his outside, driving the 13 truck, it's the, uh, Ryan Hamilton on row number two. He won last week, trying to do it again two weeks in a row. It's the 18 of Dustin Ends. In row number four, driving the four truck, pardon me, in row number two, driving the four truck, I'm getting a little ahead of myself here, it's Wayne Grosky. In row number three, he's driving the two, the Dynasty Bath truck, it's Rod Fiddler for tonight. On his outside, driving the 30L, it's Lynn Luckin. And in row four, it's the 11JR of Shane Holden. On his outside, the 14 of Kevin Braggett. In row number five, it's the 67 of Mark Zondag. And on his outside, driving the number 46 truck, that's Kevin Gronheide. There you have it. There's our lineup for this evening's action. As we get ready to go, super truck racing here at Red River Co-op Speedway. We've got 15 laps on the board tonight. Exciting to see how this one turns out. It looks like uh, Rob Como is already looking them over, so we're going green as they go around turn four if everything is good. And here we go. We are racing super trucks at Red River Co-op Speedway. Randy Palucco out to an early lead in Ginger. I'm not going to stop saying that all night long. I told him I was going to keep mentioning Ginger. And not far behind, it's the 18 truck of Dustin Ends in that number two truck. Oh, Palucco having problems on turn one, goes off the track, nudges the 18. And he's trying to fight his way back onto the track. And take a look at that, Rod Fiddler driving the number two truck. He's way out in the lead in this one. Dynasty team must be pretty happy. In second spot, it's the four truck currently sitting in second, and the 18 is pressing. That's Wayne Grosky and ends on the back stretch, fighting for second. Not far behind, it's the 11 JR of Shane Holden. And those are your top four. The 14 of Kevin Braggett. He started the race in eighth spot. Has worked his way up to fifth. Zondag in sixth. Lynn Luckin in seventh. Paluco is in eighth. And you can see he needs a little body work tonight. And you can see Randy Paluco, like I said, going to be doing a little body work this week, getting things back in order. As that 73 truck, going to need a little repair. Our leader, got 10 laps to go in this super truck feature race. The 18, Dustin N, slowly catching up. He's in second. Grosky, third. Holden making a pitch for third spot as he's fighting in there with that 11 JR truck. Braggett now all the way up to fifth. He keeps working closer and closer. And Dustin ends slowly putting pressure on that two truck, moving a little step closer with each lap. Ends keeping closer as they go through the front stretch. Grosky and Holden fighting for third. Holden taking the inside. It's Holden. Oh, it gets nudged out there. Grosky slips right back in front as they go to the back stretch. And the 18 truck making a bid for first spot. 
He is hot on the heels of Rod Fiddler. Oh, a little problems during turn two. He loses some ground. Groski, the 11 JR, still fighting on the bottom of your screen right now. At the top, that's our leader. That's the number two truck, the Dynasty bathroom truck, normally driven by Jamie Vernoss. It's Rod Fiddler tonight, and he's doing him some justice, showing us how to race that two truck, but he's got pressure. He won last week, trying to do it again. We've got a truck spun out in the front stretch. It's the 67, Mark Zondag. Rod Fiddler currently in first spot. Driving the number two, Joey's only Dynasty Bathroom two truck. Fiddler filling in for Jamie Vernas, who cannot be here tonight. And that's a great class to watch each and every week. Rennie Paluco driving to the 73P. That's Ginger. Ginger's seen better days. The girls here in the uh, in the upstairs are saying Ginger has a bobo, and uh, Rennie is going to need to fix it this week. Doctor Paluco, calling Doctor Paluco for a house call. We're super truck racing here again at Red River Cup Speedway. It's the two and the 18 battling for top spot, and guess who got a good break here? It's the 11 JR, and now he's caught up to the leaders. Nothing has changed in position for the top four. The question is, is that enough of a break for the 11 JR to make a move and get top spot? Oh, he's having problems, and we got another yellow flag. There's some debris in turn number two, from what we understand. So we're going to get another break here. You almost have to wonder if that's anything off of Renny Paluco's truck. I would say probably it is. Yes, it is. Your leader in this one is still the number two truck. That's Rod Fiddler tonight. And the 73 truck in turn number four is getting a little bit of repair work done to it right now. It's almost a modified right now. Paluco going to have to do a little body work this week, I think, to get her all back in ship shape. Unfortunately for him, he starts on the pole after just a few laps, eight laps in, in total, and he's already at the back of the class. So not the uh, start or finish he wanted to have in this race.
Groski moves up a spot in this one. He's currently sitting in third. We're going to be going green here as they go around turn number four. It's the two truck, the 18. Oh, there's already a bit of a gap. Dustin ends making a pitch for the top spot. Holden still not too far back. He's got a shot in this one. And Dustin ends. Our leaders, they're battling. Wow, we've got a great race as they go around turn three. Dustin ends takes the inside. He's moving around. Oh, he's having problems. Dustin ends had the opportunity. Maybe pushed it too hard as he went into the corner. Now it's all up to the 11 JR of Shane Holden. He's hitting the throttle on the backstretch. Look at him go. Almost have to wonder if Fiddler's looking back right now, wondering, hey, do I got a break? And Holden's now hot on his heels. We've got just four laps to go in this race. It's up to Holden. And he's going high and wide, and he's losing ground. Rod Fiddler catches a huge break in lap number six to go. Dustin Ends had the opportunity, almost came around the corner and ended up taking the lead. And now what he's done, he's given the two truck the opportunity to coast out in front. He's got about a three truck lead right now on the 11 JR. Ends though still fighting, he's in third spot right now. He managed to right the ship and get the truck going once again. Braggett currently sitting in fourth uh, spot right now. He's driving the 14 truck. It's the blue one up front. Groski's moved his way back down to fifth and Holden having problems in the backstretch. Oh boy. And look at Enns is back in second spot. He's only got a lap and a quarter left to go. Can he make a move? Probably not. He's got a lot of ground to make up. The two truck is going to probably cruise to an easy victory with one lap to go. But Dustin Enns had his chance and just slipped from his fingers as he is going around turn four, lost control, and gave the win to Rod Fiddler. Your winner in the Super Truck class, it's the number two, Rod Fiddler. The 18 of Dustin Ends picks up second spot, followed by the third spot, which is the 11 JR of Shane Holden. And we got a spinner on turn number uh, two there. Braggett finishing fourth. And there you have it. Those are the results for this race. Dustin ends. Wow, he had some speed, and so did Shane Holden. Look at those times, 21.186 and 21.317 for ends. They had some speed in this one, but uh, just couldn't find a way around that two truck. Great race ties for Rod Fiddler. Rod Fiddler, first win in a super truck this year, picking up the W in replace of Jamie Vernoss, who normally drives this truck week after week. And everybody's favorite uh, time is to drive all the way up to the front to do that interview. Big victory tonight for Rod Fiddler. Now we're going to throw it down to Darren Palin. Darren, 
All right, Rod Fiddler down in Victory Lane in the Dynasty Bathrooms. Western Turbo, Ambrosi Lighting and Electrical, Joy's Restaurants, number two. Another win for the Dynasty Bathrooms team. There he is, Rod Fiddler. Rod Fiddler, of course, a former Superstock competitor, also a champion motorcycle racer in his time. He raced super bikes. As Rod comes up to the Victory Lane stage, Many thanks once again to Master Warrant Officer Paul Lucas, PPCLI. Rod Fiddler, come on up here. Congratulations on a great win here tonight. Man, is it the truck or is it all you great drivers? What is it? Well, it's the truck and the crew, I think. The crew's great, too. They sure work hard on this thing, don't they? They do, yeah. I'd like to thank Ken, Eugene, Jamie, uh, Harry, Dave, everybody. It's great. All right, how about it, ladies and gentlemen? Your winner tonight in the Super Truck feature, that is Rod Fiddler. Back up to you, Pat Mooney. All right, thank you, Darren, so much. We're going to get.